All right, take two. Actually, just take one. Continuing on Restoration Road Runner. I got to get this thing, as you know. Just got to go to Virginia to get the body shop. Get to the body shop. So today I got my trusty assistant. Yeah. Dylan is going to be the official pumper up of the brakes. I changed the oil already. Um, I put you up everything else I did. I changed the carburetor stud. Changed the master cylinder. I installed the line lock. Uh, what I did off camera was I connected the battery switch temporarily and we're gonna bleed brakes. And once the brakes are bled, I'm gonna go get some fuel and start this thing up. Uh, my plan is to get this car to Virginia either Monday or Tuesday. So we're gonna start with Dylan getting in. I already explained to him which pedal he's working with. I already got a cool fan in there blowing for him so it's not cruelty. He's, got, he's gonna be nice and cool in there. And I'm gonna put him up in the air. And we're gonna start to bleed this bird. Alright, then we're going up. Thing is that um, this car is going to get some wildwood, 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 however you pronounce it. It's getting wildwood brakes in the front, so I, I already had to readjust, uh, readdress these brakes anyway. And I'm seriously considering putting some disc brakes in the rear now. Um, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I'll just be replacing a wheel cylinder. With the brake, brake pressure may not be great. I just need it good enough to stop. So when I take this car to Virginia, we're not pushing this. The dart is down there with no motor. That's cute. That car's all fiberglass. This puppy is not. This thing's all steel. And nobody feels like pushing a B-body Mopar that ain't running. Those days for us are done. So Dylan, I'm going to start in a hot second. Tell you to pump it five times and hold it down like I showed you. And I'll let you know when to let it go. All right. Dylan, pump it up five times and then hold it. Let me know when you're holding it. Holding it? Huh? Yeah. Okay, hold it until I let you let it go. Let it go. Pump it up, Dylan. Make sure you're doing full strokes. Like, let it come all the way up and then press it all the way to the floor. And let me know when you stop. All right, hold it. All right, pump it up again, Bill. The pedal feel harder? Feels the same? Okay, hold it. You holding it? Okay. Let it go. Pump it up. Holding it. Let it go. You popping it? Oh, uh, hold on for a second. I see a leak. Hold on, Bill. I see a leak. Let me get my, my light. A little bit better. So what happened is that I left the um I guess I didn't tighten the lines from bench bleeding with master cylinder, so it was leaking from there. You pump that Dylan? Stop, you holding it down? Alright, hold on. There we go, a little bit better. Alright, pump it up. Hold it down. Hold it down. 
Right after many parts chasing and I knew I didn't like that damn Jeg's cheap line lock. That thing I couldn't get to stop leaking, so I had to bypass it. And I'm gonna try this again, but I know that's the issue was. Go back up in the air and bleed this thing. Yeah, that's where it's going to the body shop. And that is how you bleed brakes after running to the part shop a couple of times. Out. I had to come back on, um, show you what the problem was. It was this Jegs line lock. You heard me talk about it. I didn't particularly care for the setup. I didn't like that the uh, inlet was on top instead of on the side. Outlet was on the side. That was pretty cool. But these are the fittings that came with the kit. These little fittings here. And um, I double flared the line. Nothing I did would stop them from leaking when I was trying to bleed the brakes. Um, I even tried to put pipe dread on them and it, it just slowed it down a little bit. So what I did was bypassed it completely and with the compression fit and just ran the line from the master cylinder to the front brake line and um, got the brake pressure restored so Roadrunner has brakes um, I didn't particularly care for that Jeg's line lock no way I didn't like the way it was made and being that it's leaking it's definitely coming out uh, when the car comes back the brakes will be upgraded to the real with disc brakes anyway and um, I'll address that brake situation when it comes back. I was just trying to put brakes on the vehicle so uh, we weren't pushing this heavy B body around in the body shop. It would be nice to just get in and start it and uh, move it to where it needs to be moved to. Again, I uh, just came on I had to show, I wanted to show why the brakes were leaking and I had to run to Napa and go get another um, compression fitting and bypass that line lock um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit I'm gonna reconnect the alternator and um, once I do that I run and go get some gas and fire this baby up and then the next thing I'll have to do is jack it up put some jack stands underneath it 
put a quarter two of transmission fluid in there put it in neutral and run the engine and fill up the transmission until it's at its required level and then the car will really be ready to go on the trailer and start its body work restoration down there it'll come back and I'll finish it up and put this bird back on the road so thank you for following up I don't know if I'm gonna film it running I may I may film it running and show how uh, Mopars need to have their transmission fluid checked when it's empty no fluid was in this transmission because of the converter was changed and so I may I may record that may not depending on how my time is looking so that's it for today thanks to my trusty uh, mechanic in training mr. Dillon looks like he's taking an interest in cars and um, if that's the route he wants to go I have a lot of knowledge to pass down to him between me and my friends that all race he or she should be in good shape and uh, keep this tradition of hot rodding alive until next time later